guys in this video i am going to teach you the types of wiring in fire alarm systems as per nfpa 72 2019 version in quick view we have class a b c d e and x types of wiring here you must watch this video if you want to know the styles of wiring in fire alarm system so please don't skip this video and watch till the end so let's begin with the class a wiring class a wiring has a redundant path style 6 is known as class a wiring even though when we have single open it allows the operation continuously means next devices will be working normally Fire alarm control panel announces this single open as trouble signal. Operational capability on metallic conductors is maintained during the application of single crown fault. A single crown condition on metallic conductors results in the annunciation of trouble signal. Here I have given the typical class A wiring and class A wiring with fault isolators. Class A wiring applies to NAC, IDC and the SLC circuits except the SLC circuit with short circuit isolation. When we discuss about the class B wiring, it has no redundant path. When it has single open in the wiring, the operation will stop towards the next devices. It applies to NEC, IDC and SLC circuits. If these conditions that affect the operation, FACP enunciates as trouble signal. A single crown condition on metallic conductors results in the annunciation of trouble signal. Style 4 also known as class B wiring is a T-tapping wiring system. Because of class A and class X can make T-tapping in SLC we are using this style of wiring. Class C wiring is like a hand signal. Hey, I am okay. A loss of end to end communication is enunciated as a trouble signal. It includes one or more pathways. Class C is for wired Ethernet devices where the pathway is not as important as the communication between both ends of the pathway. LAN WAN Internet uses the class C wiring in fire alarm system. Single open, single ground, short, short and open, short and ground, open and ground, and communication loss are enunciated as trouble signal in class C wiring. Fire digital alarm communicator transmitter implies this class C wiring in fire alarm system. When we discuss about the class D wiring, it has a fail safe operating circuits. What is fail safe operation? It is an electrical system so designed that the failure of any component in the system will prevent unsafe operation of the controlled equipment. The class D wiring will not show the troubles when we have single open, single ground, short, short and open, short and ground, open and ground and communication loss. It will not put anything into fire mode if interrupted. 
Rollers stutter fire doors that are activated by building alarms or local smoke detectors must close automatically when signaled regardless of power. In case of power outage, the coiling fire door does not need to close but must be capable of automatic closing when given a signal from the building alarm systems or smoke detectors. A temperature sensitive feasible link may have employed to close the fire doors open against gravity or closing a spring. In case of fire, the link melts and release the doors and they close. Class E wiring is not monitored for integrity. Namely, Class E is for ancillary in non-supervised circuits. For example, not supervised, used to be circuits that provide power to an air compressor chucky pump for a large dry sprinkler system. We can use this wiring where supervision circuits do not recur. Class C wiring is not supervised anything. Class N wiring is like a data handshaking type. It includes two or more pathways where operational capability of the primary pathway and the redundant pathway to each device shall be verified through end to end communication. Exception When only one device is served, only one pathway shall be required. A loss of intender communications between endpoints shall be enunciated as a trouble signal. This is basically local Ethernet, token ring or other network or IP infrastructure. A single open, single ground, short or combination of problems with one pathway will not affect the other pathway. When the system's minimal operational requirements cannot be met, the conditions that affect the operation of the primary pathway and redundant pathway shall be enunciated as trouble signal. Primary and redundant pathways shall not be permitted to share traffic over the same physical segment. Class X wiring it has redundant pathway. File 7 is known as class X wiring. It has fault isolators. It is supposed to allow the circuit to remain functional even with a wire to wire short. The following conditions are enunciated as given in the figure. 